Hey, this is Mickey with Mickey Woods Marketing. So I'm curious what you're doing in your shop to foster a culture of positivity, a culture of belonging and well-being. I know that some of my shops have attended the Mike Jones Leadership Academy, and I've heard him speak a couple of times. He is truly amazing. If you have the opportunity, check him out. I know he's on Facebook. I'm sure he's probably on Instagram and YouTube and all that kind of fun stuff. He's got books. I have a couple. And he really challenges you to think outside the box and be aware of your thoughts and how powerful your thoughts are. And I love it. Something else that I've heard of, a couple of shops and actually more recently a dealership last week was telling me that they were participating in something called a complaint-free world. The thought behind it is your brain produces negative thoughts because we're just in the habit of producing negative thoughts and saying negative things. And as the brain produces negative thoughts, if the um, manufacturer, which is your brain, is producing the negative thoughts, but you're not speaking them as like the store selling those negative thoughts, then the brain will stop producing the negative thoughts and start looking for positive thoughts since that is what you're speaking. So it not only helps you to create more of a culture of positivity, but also in your own mind, you become more positive. So that's pretty cool. So I thought, well, let's get the book. So I Amazoned it up, ding, ding, two days later, prime shipping. And I was reading through it and thought, you know, after the first few chapters, I got this, I can do it. But now I gotta get a bracelet and I don't wanna wait. <laughs> so I found a bracelet in my drawer, this handy dandy little bracelet here. And I slapped that sucker on my wrist and thought, well, I guess I should probably read a little bit more because I don't know all the specifics on exactly what I'm supposed to do. So I went and read the introduction. And as I was reading the introduction, I realized this was going to be trickier than I originally thought. Let me share with you why. Step one, begin to wear your bracelet on either wrist. You are now on day one of your journey to 21 consecutive days. 21 consecutive days does not sound like a very long time. Let me share with you, with this challenge, it's a long time. Number two, when, not if, you catch yourself complaining, okay, criticizing, all right, I can do that, gossiping, okay, or being sarcastic, oh! <laughs> this is where yours truly dies of a heart attack. Oh, I can't be sarcastic. I can't live if I can't be sarcastic. What in the world? If you do any of these, then you have to move the bracelet to the other wrist and start again. You're back on day one. Now you understand why 21 days seems like a very long time. Number three, stay with it. It typically takes, get ready. It typically takes four to eight months to reach 21 consecutive days. Well, I'll be. I could almost birth a child in the time it takes to go 21 solid days of being non-negative, non-gossiping, non-sarcastic, and non-whatever the heck else. So I realize that we have a bit of a problem here. I don't know that I cannot be sarcastic for one solid day, let alone 21 solid days. Because to me, being sarcastic is a way to poke fun at the world around me. And, <laughs> and I'm really a positive person. And that I feel like is one of the ways I remain positive is to laugh and be sarcastic. So I thought maybe this book wouldn't be for me and maybe I wouldn't recommend it to my shops. So I continue to read on and it gives a sample of what the average journey would look like. Uh, most people's complaint-free patterns look like this. Day one, day one, day one. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Day two, back to day one. Day one, day one, day one. Day two, day three, day four. Day one. People, this seems a little excessive. I love the idea of retraining your brain, thinking positive thoughts, creating a positive culture, but I kind of feel like there's gotta be a way out there where we can do this and create positivity in our shops without having 
to go eight months to see results. So for me, this book is not going to work. Or if I decide to do it, I will change it up to work with my life. Because this little bracelet, see this guy right here? Oh, so cute. He's screaming, he's crying tears, <laughs> hoping that he doesn't have to change wrists every time I'm sarcastic. Oh, there's not enough elasticity in this bracelet if I do this challenge. It's just, it's, it will break, it will snap off. Snap like a twig after flipping this thing back and forth so many times. People will think I have a problem with as many times as I'm flipping this bracelet back and forth. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Do you have any recommendations or any proven methods that you've used in your facility to help create a culture of positivity? Now, maybe this would be a good thing for you. It's called a complaint-free world. I wish it would have been called a sarcastic-free world because then I would have never spent the money to buy it. <laughs> Good luck to you, comment below, share with us. We need help, right? We need good resources. Please share what you got. In the meantime, huh, I'm done with that.